okay? Now, um, there's no division symbol on your keyboard, uh, not on a regular QWERTY keyboard anyway. So that's why they use this backslash. Just watch out, there's two slashes on your keyboard. Um, the forward slash goes like that, and this is the backslash. So make sure you select that one. Okay. So when I hit enter, nothing happens. Why didn't anything happen? Like no calculation took place, why was that? Because I didn't, yeah, very good. There's no formula that's actually happened. I haven't said equals, so this is just a label, okay? But now I am going to do a formula. So if I want each of these uh, in the second column to be a fraction, like if I want to get a half, a third, a quarter, a fifth, a sixth out of these, what formula should I put in? Yeah, I'm going to go one divided by whatever the left-hand cell was, right? So I'm going to, again, I'm just going to click on that cell or, t or touch it, okay? So when you hit equals, you're like, oh, wow, this is the wonder of a spreadsheet that I'm used to seeing, okay? But that was obviously not the point. Go back to that cell, uh, copy it, and then paste it for as far as you'd like. How far did I go down? There we go, that'll do. Okay. So, hopefully you've got something that looks somewhat like this now. Are you, are you with me? Hands up. Who, who's looks like this? Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Now, let's start searching and looking and wondering. Okay? Now, computers have limits, right? So you can see, for instance, we know that uh, that decimal place is not supposed to be a, um, a 7 over there. What should that decimal place be? It's a six, but it, of course it's giving us a seven because it's rounding up. So um, computers, all computers have limited memory space. So eventually at some point they decide, okay, forget it. I'm not gonna do this forever. I'm just gonna stop at some point and just give you whatever is closest, which is the rounding, okay? But we know this actually indicates something that goes on forever. Have a look. Which numbers have terminating decimals and which ones have recurring decimals? Um, if you notice, by the way, I've got my two, um, my two top things, my labels here. They're not moving even though I'm scrolling down. Uh, what I've done is I've frozen that top row, depending on the, um, what you're using for your spreadsheets. Freezing rows or columns um, is in a slightly different spot. So I'm not going to worry about getting you all to do that. But if you want to do that later on, just call me over and I'll show you how to find it. So you've got, you've got numbers here and they terminate, right? And then you've got these other ones and they seem to recur over and over and over, right? Which are the ones that terminate and which are the ones that recur? Hmm. Have a look. How, how far did you guys go? Did anyone go further than me? I, I think I'm like 50 something. Anyone go further than that? At a certain point, it looks like they seem to all start recurring, except every now and then, every now and then, you hit one that terminates. Hmm. Okay, so the reason we created this spreadsheet is just to take some of the legwork out, but now it's time to pick up your pen and do some thinking about this, right? Clearly, it seems like terminating decimals are less common than recurring decimals. Recurring decimals seem to happen all over the place, um, especially when you get to bigger numbers. Terminating decimals, hardly ever. So, let's make a little column of terminating decimals. Okay. What kinds of decimals terminate? And there's, um, there's few enough that we can literally list them out. Um, so we've got one. All right, fine. That's not particularly interesting, but whatever. Okay. Then you've got, on this page at least, I've got quite a few, right? Can you call them out for me? What are the ones you've got? Um, I'm going to write them as fractions. You'll see why in a second. So 0 0.5, of course, is a half. What's the next one? Good. Yep. And on this page, an eight. Okay. If I go a little bit further, and you can do this yourself. On this next page, I only have two. I had I had five on the previous page, but this time I've only got what's that first one? One over ten and okay. Let me go a little bit further. You're like, oh, they're starting to spread out a little bit. What do you see here? What are the two? 
1 over 20, 1 over 25. Um, there's one there. Look at that one. What's that? Can I stop doing the scrolling? Can you tell me the next ones? Okay, you've got a spreadsheet. What's the next one? 1 over... Is it 40? Yeah, it's 40. What's next? For, are you sure? Are you sure? I, I think the next one's 50. If you look and you th think you've got one that terminates, I want you to look at it a little more carefully. Um, mine don't seem to do anything in terms of, like they do stop, they do stop. Um, but that's because there's a limitation of the computer. Um, depending on what spreadsheet you've got, you can actually change the number of decimal places. It'll do to a certain limit. Okay. And I think 1 over 50 is the last one I've got. After that, they just keep on becoming, you know, repetitious. So now, yeah, 64 is the next one, isn't it? Which I didn't go up to. Okay, so we'll pause there for a moment. This is enough for us to think. Where's my, hold on. Because I need more space to write. Okay, what the dickens is going on? <laughs> This seems like a, a really higgledy piggledy mess of, um, of fractions. What is the pattern? Um, one thing that we have observed is they seem to be getting less and less frequent, right? The, you have to go, uh, I think the next one is 1 over 80, isn't it? 1 over 80. Um, I am predicting that the next one would be, or be 1 over 100, okay? So when you have a look at the gaps between them, these gaps are getting larger and larger and larger, right? Have a look. Do you see any commonalities between in this list of numbers? Is there anything that stands out to you? This is a real question. What do you reckon, Raj? None of them are multiples of three. None of them are multiples of three. That's weird, isn't it? No multiples of three. There are some multiples there. This is an interesting line to go down. What kinds of multiples do you see that stand out? Two, four, say it again. Two and, two and five. Hold on a second. Two and five. Let, let's think about them one at a time. Multiples of two. Multiples of two. You've got multiples of two. Whoops. You don't have all of them, do you? Right? You've got two and then four, but you do not have six. Then you have eight. You do have 10, but you don't have 12 or 14. You go straight to 16. So these are not just multiples of two. Have a look. Two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. These are not multiples of two, or even though they are. In fact, more specifically, those are the they're the powers of two, aren't they? There will be one over one hundred twenty-eight will be on this list. You can go to your calculator. What's one over one hundred twenty-eight? Can you, can you tell me what it is? I, I know what that is, but what is it as a decimal? Like, does it terminate? Does it terminate? Okay, and it stops. It stops. 